Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at what's in my tech bag. During the day I work remotely as an IT project manager and one of my favorite things about working remotely is the flexibility on where I can actually work from. I tend to work from home on many days but even on those days I'm typically moving to a coffee shop for a couple of hours, I might stop by the office and I also really like to travel and work from the road. Regardless of where I am, it's always really important for me to keep my tech organized and protected, and so I thought it would be a fun video to walk through some of the gear that I use most regularly, including some items from the sponsor of today's video, Exter. Exter is well known for making some really cool wallets and their grid backpack, which is actually housing all of the gear that I'm gonna be walking through in this video, so really excited to share it with you, and make sure to stick around until the end of the video to learn about Exter's anniversary sale and how you can save up to 25% off. So I wanna thank Exter for sponsoring this video, and with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. It wouldn't be a what's in my tech bag video without the bag itself, and recently I've been using Exter's grid backpack, which has a pretty modern and sleek aesthetic, but I like that it also has some straps and attachment points along the outside to give it a little bit more of a distinct and rugged feel. So I think it's a good mixture. It's a versatile appearance that I've felt great taking into the office. I've used it when I've been walking around the city and it's something that I think is also gonna work well for traveling. As far as the materials, it feels very solidly built. The exterior fabric is made out of recycled plastic water bottles. It's a 600D fabric that also offers a nice amount of weather resistance. The zippers also have a nice coating to give you a little bit more peace of mind. And then continuing along the outside, as mentioned, you have a variety of attachment points, which I always find very useful for clipping on things like my hero clip. I clip on hand sanitizer. I do YouTube part time. So sometimes I like to have my tripod with me just attached to the outside. So you have attachment points on the front, on the top. You have compression straps on the side with these really nice G hooks. So they're very easy to just attach additional items. And then on the front, you have some more G hooks that I believe also pair with some of the accessories that Exter sells. They have a really cool tech pouch, which I didn't have a chance to test out, but feels like that would combine well here. So just a nice amount of functionality without going overboard. And then on the outside, you also have a water bottle pocket. That's one thing that I'll mention as I'm going through the bag is that this one checks off a lot of those key features that I talk about in many of my videos that I'm regularly looking for. So the external water bottle pocket is one of those. You have a nice amount of elasticity. This is able to handle my 26 ounce Yeti Rambler pretty comfortably. And then when it's not in use, you can see how tightly it lays against the bag to just make a cleaner look. And then because of those compression straps, if you wanna use this for something taller, you'll be able to secure it comfortably. At the top of the bag, you have a nice handle that's gonna allow me to either hang it up or just pick this up off the ground when I need to get it. And one of the things that I really like about the materials and the structure of the bag is that it's a little bit more rigid, which allows it to stand up very consistently on its own. So that's another one of those really important features for me. I can place this down next to me when I'm at a coffee shop or if I'm traveling, easily grab my laptop or access the other compartments. So great to see how consistently it does that. The sizing is about 21 liters. So that's a really great EDC bag and tech bag size for me. It's able to hold all the items that I would normally have with me without feeling overwhelmingly big. If I'm traveling for work, I'm usually pairing it with another bag. And so it has a pretty slim profile, but because of the layout, it can hold a good amount. And then, you know, because of its rigid shape, it doesn't really change much whether it's full or it's empty. And regardless, it still feels very comfortable for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit and carrying on to pretty much any domestic or international airline. Taking a look at the harness system, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. I like how the straps have been implemented here. They have a nice amount of padding. It's really soft and comfortable right out of the box with a nice material on the inside. The straps also have a good width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. You also have some webbing on each of the straps that will allow you to attach additional accessories. Then you have some nice strap management at the bottom and these really nice buckles to allow you to adjust the length. Then the back panel is also really well padded. It's got this rigid padding. It's a little different than what's on the strap, so it feels like it's gonna offer a lot of support. And then you have some air channels to provide you with a little bit of ventilation and a luggage pass through that's gonna be great for resting this on a suitcase while traveling to save some weight on your back. 
Jumping into the organizational options, the bag keeps things pretty minimal on the exterior. You have a quick access pocket on one of the sides, again, with a well-protected and locking YKK zipper, locking in the sense that you have to lift the zipper pull up so that you can move it up and down so it'll prevent it from accidentally sliding down, which is nice. This is also an RFID protected pocket, so if you have something a little bit more sensitive, you can store it there. And it's not a huge compartment, but it does have enough space for something a little bit larger, definitely for your phone, maybe a, a battery bank. You can see here the little RFID blocking label. In my case, I actually have Exter's Parliament wallet here, which I've been testing out as well, and I am a big fan of. Exter is one of the companies that's well known for these really cool sort of fanning style wallets. So you can hold one to 12 cards comfortably. It's very fun to fidget with this. I use this all the time. And then the wallet itself just looks great. It's got a really nice leather material. On the inside, you have a little strap that's gonna be a good spot for some cash if you're carrying that, some additional slots for credit cards. And then on the back, you have one more slot that you can use for a credit card, or at the moment, I actually have the tracker card that Exter also sells. This is great for adding the functionality to your wallet so that you know if you forget it somewhere, you can easily locate it, you can ping it so that you can hear it if it happens to be lost in your bag or around your house. So I always think these are really cool accessories that we're seeing more and more nowadays. It charges very quickly, it holds its charge for a long time. You can actually use it to ping your phone as well if you happen to misplace your phone and you have this, it's super slim. And just to add some extra functionality, you can actually use this as a selfie uh, clicker. So if you're trying to take a selfie, you can place your phone on the tripod and then actually fire the camera with this. So really like the added versatility that this provides. Super easy to install. There's an app you have to add and then it tucks away nicely into the back of the wallet to create a very nice versatile package. And so I have that in there at the moment. And then another key feature with any tech bag that I'm using is the dedicated laptop compartment. So it has, again, the protected zipper. And then this is really key for allowing me to grab my device quickly, whether I'm traveling or working at an office or a coffee shop. The implementation here is great. The compartment feels well padded and it's pulled up off the bottom of the ground. So if you place your bag down a little bit harder, you should be able to fit in there comfortably. You got this really nice lining on the inside as well. And there's enough space here for a 15 or 16 inch laptop. Currently what I have here is my 13 inch MacBook Air, which is my work computer. You can see that there's plenty of leftover space at the top and then very easy to get this in and out. So now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And yeah, just really feels like my device is gonna be very well protected while I'm on the go. In this area, you also have what could be considered kind of a quick access pocket. There is this magnetic little divider here that provides access to this dedicated tech section. That's how I've been using it. Could easily see myself placing my sunglasses in here, but at the moment I have my mouse, I have the charger that I'm using regularly, and then I also have the laptop charger and all of those fit very easily. And you have an additional zippered pocket here for something a little bit smaller, where at the moment I just have my AirPods. And then moving into the main compartment, this has a clamshell style opening, so it opens up 180 degrees. As you've probably heard me mention in many of my other videos, this is another key feature that I look for in a lot of my bags because of the flexibility and simplicity that it provides for organizing. So it's got a pretty simple and open layout which allows it to hold a lot of stuff. Even though this is only 21 liters, with the items that I'm normally carrying, you can see there's still plenty of leftover space. This is again my typical sort of just work and everyday loadout. So I don't have all of the accessories that I might have at any given time, but this is definitely more than enough for what I normally need. And I just kind of have it laid out in there because I pack very modularly. And so jumping in, I have my Beat Studio wireless headphones, which you know I've been using for a number of years now. I absolutely love these. You can see that they're pretty beat up in their case. I probably will get the latest version of these so that I can get the USB-C edition, but to me, the noise cancellation on this works. I'm not an audiophile, so I don't really mind the fidelity of the music so much, uh, but they work well, they're comfortable, the noise cancellation doesn't make me dizzy. They offer the 3.5 uh, headphone jack, which to me is still really important, allows me to use them even when I'm not going wireless. And then I have an everyday carry pouch. I've done a walkthrough video of this in the past, so this just has more kind of just some tools and accessories that I like to have with me on any given day. And then I also have 
an Evergood Civic Access Pouch, one liter. This also has just a medical kit, extra hard drive, just some of the YouTube accessories that I might also be accessing. And then my primary tech kit at the moment is the Air Pro Tech Kit, which I'm a big fan of, first off, because it has this slimmer form factor. It's not super rigid, so it's easy to squeeze into a lot of different bags. And then I also like the fact that it stands up well on its own. You can just place this next to you when you're sitting down at a coffee shop or at my office or even at home. I just move around with this and I have a portable hard drive in here, a couple of cables to keep my devices charged. On the back, I have a portable battery. I have an additional adapter that I typically have with me just if I need a spare. And I also have my Peak Design mobile tripod, which again, pairs very nicely with the tracker card so that I can take some pictures if I need to. You also have a zippered compartment on the other side where I have a wire set of headphones, some extra cables, and you have a spot for a pen or a stylus. So keeping it fairly simple, but I, I tend to use most of those items quite a bit. And then at the bottom here, I just have a packable rain jacket. Weather can be unpredictable where I live, so always good to have this, especially when it's light, it doesn't take up a ton of space. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. A really nice layout here. Again, pretty minimal, but the pockets that it offers are super useful. So you have these large elastic slip pockets here. I really love the volume that these have because they allow me to carry this USB hub and the cable and a USB-C item. So this is a lifesaver when I'm going to a coffee shop or you know we're sharing an office with a couple of coworkers. Everybody can plug in. We can save on the amount of plugs that we actually use. So always a very useful accessory to have. And then on the back here, you have a really nice, well-padded, what I would say is a tablet sleeve. Currently what I have here is my iPad mini. You can definitely fit a regular size tablet in here as well. I like that this is actually rigid and padded, so it's a proper tablet sleeve. Again, the tech focus of this bag is one of the things I really like. So even though I have a case on my tablet, I don't think I would actually need it with the amount of protection that's added here. And it has the same sort of lining that we saw on the inside of the laptop compartment. So very useful, love the implementation here. And then if I wanted to, I could even use this as a minimal travel bag. You could toss in a packing cube, a dot kit, my shoes, and easily use this for a weekend trip. And then on the other side, as with many clamshell style bags, you have some additional zippered pockets. So when I open the bag up and I have this next to me, it's always really nice to be able to use these to reach items that, uh, that I need. And so on this bottom compartment, I don't typically store anything too bulky since all my pouches are in the main area. But what I have here is actually the bag that's included with the grid backpack. So when they send the bag out, they include this and I've actually found that it's very useful to have something like this in your bag. When I'm traveling, this works as a laundry bag, but this could also be something where I'll just toss in clothes or other items if I'm going to the gym, or even maybe as a grocery bag in a pinch. So kind of a useful lightweight accessory that's easy to toss in there, but the material that's used here is a really nice feeling, kind of elastic material. And then above that, you have another zipper compartment. This is kind of what I'm using as my quick access pocket when the bag is standing up can easily reach down and access that. This offers a nice amount of volume, even for something a little bulkier like my sunglasses with their case. And then I also have a field notes notebook in here and a deck of playing cards, which is now kind of becoming my fidget toy when I'm in meetings and such just to keep my hands busy. So really like the amount of space and flexibility that's offered here. And then if you don't wanna use these compartments as with many of these bags, they just stay out of the way and you don't have to use them. And so that's it. Those are the items that are currently in my tech bag. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if you have any questions on the items that I featured in the video or suggestions for similar items that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And if you're curious to learn more about the wallet tracker or the grid backpack, make sure to visit Extra site using the link that I've included in the description below. They're currently having an anniversary sale where you can get 20% off a lot of items. And if you use the code that I've included in the description, you can get up to 25% off your order. So make sure to check them out. And as always, I wanna thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you like this video and you'd like to see similar ones in the future, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.